Hello traders and welcome to a new video on liquidation hunting. Let's do it again. Round two for altcoin liquidation hunting, or I think this was this like round three. Third time I've talked about liquidations, probably more than that. Well, regardless, this was the Patreon suggested video, and a lot of people messaged me about liquidations. Now, what I found was there are really two different kinds of liquidation hunting we can do. We can look at XPT USD and FUSD, you know, the main cryptocurrencies, and look for uh, hunting liquidations on those coins. The issue with those coins I have found is that there are so many liquidations and so much volatility that actual liquidation hunting can be a little bit tough when trying to react to people getting liquidated and trying to take advantage of that. Um, that's why today's focus is going to be just on alt altcoin. So basically anything that's not, that doesn't rhyme with Mitcoin or Bethereum, um, anything that doesn't rhyme with those is going to be fair game for what we're going to be talking about today. Now, the cinematography of this video is going to be very dark. I think what is half my face is like dark, like it's, that, that actually fits the tone of this video because we're talking about liquidation hunting, which is really taking advantage of other people losing all their money or losing a large portion of their money. And then we're taking uh, very good rates. We're taking very good trade entries and trade exits because other people have gotten liquidated by the BitMEX system. So I think this cinematography and this lighting actually makes me feel like some evil financial... I, I don't know where I'm going with this. I'll just talk about the tool because that's probably all you guys care about at this point. But before I talk about the tool and give you that satisfaction, I also have, uh, I'm selling my price action volume guide and that also comes with access to my professional day trading discord. Now, if you want to learn more about that or join the community, you can click the link in the description below. All right, now to the tool. I found that the... The old way of doing this was for me to go on Twitter, for me to look at BitMEX uh, wrecked altcoins and, and to wait for certain altcoins to be, um, you know, for, to, to see many liquidations. Um, but that kind of strategy, I mean, I don't really love that. So what I found is this site's very, very, very helpful uh, because it pulls together all liquidations on whatever coin you want with a filter too. So what we're going to be looking at today are just a few coins. Um, and we're going to look at how can we actually take advantage of these? What are some strategies that we can use so that by the end of this video, you can turn this off and just go start hunting these liquidations and, you know, taking advantage of the traders. Okay. The first thing that we look at is total damage USD 24 hours. So this is showing us how many wrecks we've had, how many people have been liquidated or how many contracts have been liquidated um, within the past 24 hours on different coins. One thing I have to say um, as we get into this, you have to understand what each contract represents. XPT USD, each contract is worth $1. A contract on LTC M19 is not $1, it is one LTC. One LTC is about $110. So when you see something that says, hey, 91 liquidated on Litecoin, that actually means it's about 91 times 100, um, which by my math is about $9,100 liquidated. This is not $91, this is about 91, probably like what, 92 or $9,300 liquidated. When you see this, that's about, what, $115,000 liquidated? So that's really what we're looking at. Now, if you wanna filter, what I would actually recommend is using a $10,000 filter because if you delete this, here's one issue you can have with um, this kind of strategy. This is just too much information. And you don't wanna be very early in a trend. For example, when typically we see a lot of uh, shorts getting liquidated, it's going to be green, like this. And that's typically when we want to enter a short. That's the crux of the liquidation strategy. But if you do this too early, when the size is nothing, like one Litecoin or six Litecoin being liquidated, I mean, do you really want to short at 1352 or 1362? You can clearly see that the market went a lot higher than 1350, right? So that's why we want to have a filter in place that tells us only the biggest liquidations. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into the first few. Was that a rhyme? Oh, okay. I impressed myself there. LTC M19, and I saw that there were two liquidations here. Let's look at the 1137 because that one looked a lot better. Where was 1137? At the very top. Easy. I mean, easy as that. What is this like? I, I guess, yeah, if you had noticed that 251, the 251 Litecoin were liquidated at 1386 at 1137. Um, 1386 was here, uh, and 1137 is, is that candle right there. You short, and what profit do you get? As much profit as you want, really. 
by the looks of it. Now, here's the rule that I have found very helpful with trading liquidations, and, and, and listen to this one. A rule of thumb, you when you see shorts getting liquidated and we're interested in shorting, you want to short above the liquidation price that they got liquidated at. So 1386 was the liquidation, right? If you are shorting anywhere below 1386 after that liquidation occurred, like you're thinking about shorting around 1377 or 1378, I would not recommend doing that. If you are able to short above a lot of shorts getting liquidated, that's a very good sign that you are shorting at potentially a very good price. So if you shorted anywhere at 1387 to higher, I mean, these are beautiful prices, okay? Now, I didn't want to talk about it, but I will now because I'm going to show everything with this. 1116 would have not been a good time to short. Uh, 100 Litecoin were liquidated, yes, but this would have probably not been terrific. 1116 was here. And the price that they got liquidated at was uh, 1372. But if you had shorted anywhere above 1372, you probably would have been okay. Let's say you short at 1373. Well, then your prof your max profit is about only like, what, 0.37, nothing. Um, and your drawdown is about... Uh, 1.2. But if you actually, if you had, I take that back, if you had shorted here and actually held with a reasonable stop loss, <laughs> I think you would have been A-OK -okay with profit. Yeah. You just, with this, with shorting right there, the issue is that you get stopped out here. Um, and that move also liquidated uh, 251 Litecoin. Here and here would have actually probably not been terrible places to short. But you need to be careful to not short below 1372. And here's why. We see liquidations at 1372, right? But if you had shorted anywhere below like 1370, this would have been problematic. Um, you're gonna have a lot of issues shorting below that liquidation, as you can see here. Finally, let's look at the last few liquidations that occurred here and how we could have played those. I see uh, 1143 and 1144. I'm seeing the a ton of liquidations at 1144 and a ton of liquidations at 1143. Now, to quantify really just how much that is, that is 1290 by my math when you add these together. Why do I care about that? Well, 1144, 1143 at 1316, oops, 1328 with a 1290. Uh, 1290 is how many Bitcoin? 17 Bitcoin were liquidated on that move. And that move was at 1143 to 1144. Now, 1143 to 1144 was here. That's 1143 and that's 1144. And the liquidation price that they got um, destroyed at was at 13.16 and 13.28. So if you were able to long anywhere below 13.16, you probably would have been in in a, in a in a good position buying anywhere here because these are one minute candles. So you probably would have been okay. Now, if you had bought it, let's say even at their direct liquidation price of 13.16, your profit's going to look pretty nice, and you don't have much drawdown. But the one drawdown that you do have, and, and this one was quite interesting, is at 1151. Now at 1151, we actually did get a lot more, oh, lightning strike too. So, okay, I got the trifecta. I got the, the half face, we got lightning, um, the full evil trifecta of liquidation hunting. Okay, I feel like a super villain with this stuff. Okay, I've had my moment, moving on. Where was I even, what was I even talking about? My memory's just like jogged. Okay, 1151, yeah. So 1151 at, from 1310 to 1303, we have about 600 Litecoin liquidated. Uh, if we buy anywhere below 1310, would have been lovely. You know, you buy at the prices of 1309 down to 1302 here. That's pretty new. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good deal. You buy, let's say like uh, 1309. That's reasonable, right? You're in profit immediately. I mean, there's there's no drawdown that you would have had if you had bought it at 1151. Um, there's there's no drawdown at all. And this isn't me just like selecting points. I mean, we can take any other coin and look at let, let's look at EOS M19. Okay, let's use the same threshold of only ten thousand dollars or more. And each of these contracts is one EOS. So this is three thousand one hundred seventy-four EOS EOS or however you pronounce this coin. Um, uh, being liquidated. So let's look at the uh, all right. Let's look at what should we do. How about 1106 to 1110? That seems fair, right? EOS M19, let's go 1106 to 1110 uh, and see what was up. So we have a lot of liquidations at 1106, but really not that many. It's 1110 to 1111 that we have a ton. 1106 was here. Um, yeah, okay, price does go up a little bit more. 1110 to 1111, this is the beauty right here. 
If you had shorted at about 11.10 or 11.11, your profit is that. And to get this, you know, this blue thing, all you have to do is just shift click on trading view and you can do that to see like percent uh, change and stuff. Um, and we had how many liquidations at 11.10, 11.11? We had a ton. And it doesn't give us the specific price, unfortunately, so we can't do that trick of trying to beat the liquidation or try to short above um, many buy liquidations. But really, I mean, when we get into five figures of EOS li liquidated, was that $100,000? Yeah, it was. Perfect. So what, what this means is that this liquidation right here was, was worth over $100,000 um, in, in liquidations. So a lot of people were not having a good time at 11.10. 11.10 would have been a beautiful time to short. Yeah. You short here, you have a 1% drawdown, but uh, you know your potential profit's about 5.37. So you're, you're, you're probably pretty happy about that one. Um, even let's say, how about like a 50,000? 50,000 is pretty good too, but now I'll just go back to like 20. Okay, so 20,000, we have an 1142. At 1142, it's indicating this would have been probably a not terrible time to buy. What happened at 1142? That was here. So that was as the market was making its low right down here. Um, and had you bought when the market was making its lows around here and people were getting liquidated, you have plenty of potential profit. Now, if I open this up completely, we can see the 10,000 right there. Um, yeah, 1142 would have been a great time to buy. So you buy here, around there, and you have immediate profit because the market goes up in two minutes, 2%, take profit there, or uh, you have the profit up here as well, as you can see. And I don't know if any guys got liquidated around here. I can actually take off the filter to see if any did. Um, I, I, I don't know for sure. No, it doesn't look like anyone did because the last time someone was liquidated was 1144, um, and 1144, was on this tail here, or was uh, here. The final liquidations were here. Um, so it doesn't look like anyone got liquidated here, so maybe you hold this trade, wait for more liquidations. Um, but yeah, that's just another coin that you can use for these um, for, for, for these liquidations. We can just take another coin. Let's look, let's look at TRX M19 to close this, close this pupper out. Uh, TRX M19, I'll do a $10,000 filter. What do we got? So it looks like we had some 1123s, 1124. Oh my God, we have so much TRX being liquidated. I don't know what that is worth in Bitcoin. Um, that looks like what about, by ball, by ballpark that's, I'm gonna call that just like 5.5 mil, 5500, how many zeros is in that? Uh, five million, so that'd be five zeros, right? Uh, yeah, five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. How many Bitcoin is that? Oh God, 22 Bitcoin liquidated, Jesus Christ. Okay, that's a lot of Bitcoin being liquidated. That was at 11.23 to 11.24. We got these big guys getting destroyed. Good time to short, 11.23 to 11.24. What happened 11.23 to 11.24? Let's go check it out, huh? And that puts a smile on my face because I think you guys see what I'm seeing. 11.23 was here, 11.24 was here. You short 11.23, 11.24? And you get that. What's your maximum drawdown here, right? Your maximum drawdown is like half a percent. I mean, there's really not much drawdown that comes from that. Unfortunately, we don't get exact prices. It just says add zero, which is kind of annoys me, but you know, uh, whatever. You can only get what you can get. But you could go to Twitter, I think, to see the exact prices that, that these guys were getting liquidated. Uh, and then, yeah, 1144 to 1148. What was going on 1144 to 1148? 1144 was here on that wick. Looks like we had a lot of people getting liquidated here. So maybe you could have shorted here and then just take profit when the other guys get liquidated down here. 11.48 was down here. And then this is where you could have taken profit on that short and then hopped into a long position right here at 11.48. Had you hopped into a long position at 11.48 and just followed the liquidations, you'd be up about 5%. The, the, guys, the, the, this is not random. Like I could even just scroll back to just some random point in time, you know, and <laughs> random. Um, I could, we, we could even look at like five, tw May 26, 1508, okay? May 26, 1508. Um, and look at that. A devilish smile creeps on my face as I see that <laughs> 1508 would have been the perfect time to buy. Look at that. It's right here. 1503 to 1508 would have been a beautiful time to buy. Yeah. Had you bought at 1508, let's just say you buy at the top of 1508, right? What's your potential profit? Oh man, 
twenty percent within like a few app within like a day, uh, and then your immediate profit's about eight percent. So that would worked out pretty well. All right, guys, but do do your own research. I mean, look look into these coins. The I'm not trying to make a point. I'm not trying to sell you on this stuff because trust me, this is all free. I, I gain nothing. I actually lose if you guys all use this um, because then it means less liquidity for me to actually take advantage of these liquidations. Um, but do your own do your own practice with this. And, a, and a, one thing I really like about this tool that I want you guys to practice is go back in time. Just go back in time and go to some random point in time and just see what would have happened. Um, I mean, like I could go to like um, you could go to any coin and just go back in time. We could go to BCH M19. You just go back in time and see. Hey, so on May 21st at like eight something, at like 808, 816 uh, on on May 21st, what was going on? And then you go there and say, hey, you know, would that have worked well? May 21st in the morning at, at 8 a.m. would have not worked well. Um, this one is a little bit unclear. Oh, that's May 22nd. That makes sense. No, no wonder it's a little bit unclear. Oh, wow. Yeah, that looks like it would have worked out very well. Um, yeah, 808. Can, can I make a filter of 100K to see if this is 100K on 521? Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. So 521, 805, we have a 546. Um, 805 was here. So this is where a lot of guys got liquidated at uh, 46. So if you're if you're able to short anywhere above 46, like short around here, you have a bit of drawdown. You do you you do have a good amount of drawdown. I, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but let's look at the drawdown versus potential maximum profit. <laughs> yeah. Um, so with this one, maybe you want to just wait for the market to just kind of resume its high volatility pattern. Uh, but if I take a zero off here, we can look at that 521. Uh, 521 ended at 816. So we had a lot of liquidations of like 804. Uh, it ends at 816 or no, it ends at 808 really because that's a uh, other side getting liquidated. 808, 808, 808, yeah. So around here would have been probably not a terrible time to, to, to take a trade. But now I just feel like I'm talking to myself. With this, guys, it's all up to you. Um, the practice is up to you. How you want to do this is up to you. Practice on this. Do not just jump into this full capital, you know, willy nilly, just just liquidating, trying to liquidate fools left and right. Because guess what? What's going to happen if you're not careful? You're going to be the one getting liquidated, and you're going to be the one who we're looking on this feed, and we're taking advantage of you, and we're taking advantage of you trying to take advantage of someone else. So don't be that guy. Don't risk too much. Don't not use a stop loss. Keep your risk reward at least one to one. Um, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just trying to speak common sense and what I would do if I was in your position, um, which I'm not. You're in your position, and this is your finance, and this is your decision to make. Um, I think that practicing on this, going back in time, trying to see how that would have played out, then looking to trade this with potentially very low capital. So if you typically trade with, let's say, $50,000, trading with this with only you know a size of like, what, $500, um, 500 bucks, you know, and then your potential gain is like, 20, 30 bucks, potential loss is like 20, 30 bucks. I mean, that kind of size is a lot better to practice. But I, I, I do I do stand by what I said. I think that liquidation hunting on all coins does work pretty well if you know what you're doing. Um, I think that it could potentially even work better than on XBT USD and FUSD. With that, guys, I hope you find this tool helpful. And if you don't, more liquidity for me. And if you do love this, then you can join the discussion in my Gravity Discord, which is linked in the description below with the purchase of the Price Action Volume Guide. Happy hunting.